Hello. Thank you for joining us today. We are very excited to show you what we have been developing over the past few months. Horace Mobile is the best DICOM viewer in the App Store. With so many amazing features like photorealistic volume rendering, 3D MPR and so much more, it has become the go-to app when it comes to reviewing medical images, educating patients, and teaching students. Our community grows stronger and bigger every day. We have thousands of users from all around the world. Thank you all for your support. We wanted to make your experience even better when interacting with Horace Mobile. We want to help you become even better at what you do. We believe that the best way to learn is by practicing and testing your skills. So today we are announcing our newest feature called Interesting Cases and a new section in the app called Falcon University. Interesting Cases is a tool that features a selection of cases and quizzes submitted by the members of our community that are specifically designed to help you enhance your experience in radiology. You can apply to become an author and submit your cases to the community. Authors benefit from subscription offers, early access to new features and so much more. This is our way to say thank you for supporting our community and helping others become even better in what they do. So without further ado, let me introduce you to Falcon University and interesting cases. First thing that you notice is that I am now logged in as an author. You will need to complete your registration before you can submit any cases. This is required so that we can assure quality of the cases submitted are of the highest standards. From this panel you can view cases that have been published to the app, and view your cases or create new ones. Let's create a new case. We made it super simple for you to create, review and submit your cases to the community. In this view you can see five different tabs that all describe different parts of your submission. The first one is the general tab. Here you can set a title for your case. Select a category for your submission. And write a few words about the medical history of the patient. You see your case status at the bottom and a button to submit your case for review. We will revisit this button later. After you fill the title and the medical history you can move on to the chapters. Chapters is an easy way to separate your interesting cases to different sections and enter quiz questions for each one of them. You can add new chapters by tapping on the new chapter button. We can have as many chapters as we want, but we'll focus on just one right now. In this view you can give a title and description to your chapter. You can leave these blank if you don't want to fill in any information. I can also add DICOM images by tapping on the Manage Chapter DICOM Images button. You may notice that we are not using JPEG images or any other rasterized file formats. We wanted to give you the full experience of a DICOM viewer so that all users can manipulate the images that you share with them, as they would in real life. Users will be able to change the window width and level and have a more immersive experience with your case. Let's add some images. Currently, our media pool is empty, so we will add some images from our database. When we tap on the Add DICOM Images button, we are presented with a list of all the studies that are saved in our database. Let's go ahead and select one. You can drill down to any series and then select the image that you're looking for. Change the window width and level to adjust the way your image looks. Tap the plus button on the top to add this image to your chapter. This image is automatically added to the case's media pool for future use as well. When you add an image you don't have to worry about anonymizing the patient. We take care of that by automatically anonymizing your DICOM file before it is added to the case. You can add images from different modalities and from different studies. I am done adding images for this chapter. I can now add quiz questions to my chapter. I have two types of questions that I can choose from multiple choice and true false questions. I will add a true false question now. I will type my question and I will select the answer by tapping on the true or false section below. I can also add an explanation to provide more details for my answer. This is optional. I'll leave it blank for now. I will hit save and add a new question. I will select a multiple choice question this time. Again, I will fill in my question and the correct answer in the corresponding fields and then provide up to three incorrect answers.
Let's hit save and go back. Now let's add one more chapter. I will just follow the same steps as I did before and add a few more quiz questions. I can now go to the discussion tab. In this tab I can give a little bit more information about this case. For example I can fill out the findings section, the differential diagnosis, the diagnosis, pathophysiology etc. If I leave any of those fields blank, they will not be displayed when users view my case, so I don't have to worry about what needs to be displayed or not. It just works. In the next tab which is called media, I can manage my media files. I can add more images to my case and use them in different chapters or set my case's thumbnail. By default, the first image that I import is going to be my case's thumbnail. Let's go ahead and change that. Tap on the edit button and select one of the images below. I think I like this one. On the last tab we can add references. We designed the app in such a way that it's super easy to create references based on the Harvard referencing system. This step is optional. Once I complete all my chapters and questions for each chapter, I can go back to the general tab and submit my case. A message will inform me that my case is waiting for review. Once it has been approved I will get a notification informing me that it has been published and is now visible for everyone to access. Let's check some of the already approved and published cases. We can see a case here that has been submitted previously and has been approved. Tap on the case card to reveal the details of the case. In the details view you can see the author, the case title and description along with the case thumbnail. You also see your score and your status, completed, partially completed, or not started. I can also add this case to my favorites, clear my score, or even share this case with anyone I want to share it with. Let's go ahead and start this case. I can view the case's contents by tapping on the contents button. I can navigate to any chapter from here or by tapping the next or back buttons. Once I complete the case I can close this view and move to another case. So this concludes our introduction to our newest features. Interesting cases is the most convenient way to learn radiology points, practice new cases and quiz yourselves. Becoming an author and composing cases is a breeze and couldn't be easier. We can't wait to see your interesting cases. You can apply to become an author today, and you can start submitting your cases next week. This feature will be available only to a limited number of users. Get in touch to learn more about this. Thank you for joining us today. Be well and keep safe.